Joining me now is contributor to The Hill newspaper and Republican strategist Gianno Caldwell. Gianno, you've written on Trump a few times, and he wrote you a thank you card. What do you see in Trump that perhaps the establishment Republican should start seeing and start appreciating? Well, you know what? The media has been calling it the, they call it the summer of Trump, now they're calling it the fall of Trump. I just call it all season Trump. Uh, what the media failed to recognize and what the Republican establishment generally fails to recognize is Donald Trump will not be put in a box. He will not be an individual in which you can give him a list of talking points and you just go along and say whatever's on that sheet. He's a guy that goes with his convictions, and I think that shows. Um, when you, you kind of talked about the club for growth, how they've been spending money against him, I don't think it's something that's going to work. I don't think it's anything close to working. When you think about, uh, say, like a Dr. Ben Carson that's been uh, moving up in the polls, it's because Dr. Ben Carson and Donald Trump's message is quite similar. So I think at the, at the same time that these attacks are going on, whether it be in the mid, a media or the establishment, it's not going to work. Donald Trump is uh, in a position where he can really win this thing and he can win it big. Yeah, both Dr. Carson and Trump are outside of the political spectrum. And in my opinion, that's one of the reasons they're both doing so well in the polls, as, long as, as well as the third candidate outside of politics, Carly Fiorina. But back to Trump, I mean, shouldn't yeah. the party be uniting behind a candidate? If we're an inclusive party, we all don't have to have exactly the same, exactly the same style, exactly the same opinion. Shouldn't we be uniting rather than fighting over it? Well, I think the the party should be uniting against the Democrats. We should be uniting against Hillary Clinton. We should be uniting against Senator Sanders. Um, and I think that we are. I think we're, we're speaking in a united vo voice in that front. In terms of uniting around any one candidate, I don't think we should, as a party, be per se doing that. I think we have to allow the the elections in Iowa and South Carolina make those determinations. And as we begin to see who's winning in those particular areas next year, then we can decide who we can uh, uh, come around and support. And I think that's what's going to be most important as a party moving forward. Right. I agree with you. I agree with you. I think the primary is the time to start attacking Democrats from the get go. All this infighting is just doing liberals jobs for them. They're, we're basically just taking self-destructing, yeah. taking care of their business on their behalf instead of focusing on our attention on the opposition. Um, who, who's the candidate that can unite the party? Who's the candidate that can take all of the infighting and direct it back towards liberals against the policies that are really going to be destructive to our country rather than bickering and taking shots at one another? Who is that candidate? You know what? I think we have a number of strong candidates in our field and also a diverse group of candidates. The Democrats don't have any diverse presidential candidates. They have three, well, well now, two, three old white men and a, and a white lady. There's nothing cool or hip about that, and there's nothing diverse about that. So while they continue to try to say that they have the platform of diversity and inclusion, we continue to see that that isn't the case. However, we do. The Republican Party, we definitely are a group of diverse people. We have a, gr a group of diverse candidates. And I think that at the end of the day, any one of the candidates that we have that are currently up on that stage buying for the, the heart of the party, I think that they can unite uh, Republicans across the board, and any one of them would be better than any Democrat on the other side. Including Trump? You think Trump could unite? If he got the nomination, he could unite Republicans and take Absol on a liberal? Absolutely. Absol absolutely. At the end of the day, what it, what it comes down to when we talk about Donald Trump, Donald Trump is an individual who has done things in a way that is fairly unique. It is not normal. When you have a candidate that's running for president, generally speaking, that candidate has been in held elected office before. Generally speaking, it's not a guy from New York who happens to be a billionaire who's proud of his success, who's able to pontificate on his success, and connect with the with normal people. He has a very populist message, is economic populism. And at the end of the day, when it comes to Donald Trump, the reason why the establishment don't really like him is the fact that he doesn't speak on the message of the talking points that we generally see when it comes to the Republican Party. So I think any candidate, whether it be Donald Trump or whomever, can unite the party.